Okay. All right, so everyone, welcome to Kailul Kol Shira in partnership with Breslov.org and of course Yeshiva Tera Shimon. It's Parshas Parashas. Um, uh, we're recording here from Efrat in, in Eretz Yisrael. And yes, uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult. Of course, everyone knows. I don't need to talk about that. Everyone has seen, everyone heard, everybody knows. But we are, we are, we are continuing and the, the entire country is continuing. It's fascinating. Uh, you see, even in Yerushalayim now, uh, you see around the, the country, uh, you have Hasidim that are driving the trucks because the Arabs, either they're, they're not allowed in or they don't want to come to work. But, uh, but you know, the supermarkets need deliveries. So people are volunteering their time. <laughs> and you see the most beautiful things. You go into the supermarket, you see kids. They're, they're in the, these guys, they're, there's no school. So the kid, you see, you see young, young kids, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16 year olds, and they're stocking the shelves in the supermarkets. And they're doing, they're just working. You see the most beautiful, beautiful things going on here. Mom is the most beautiful things. And uh, we're going to realize that we don't need the Arabs. <laughs> we don't need them. All right. We're going to realize that. And that'll be a Gavaldike Yeshua right there. All right. Anyway. So it's Pashas Bereshis. We know that really everything, everything, everything is found in the word Bereshis, right? You could darshan out everything from the word Bereshis. It's 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 amazing to understand that Mamish was starting the set. It was starting the the whole the whole process again anew. And we really we learned this concept that really every single day is a mechadesh betuvay bechol yom tamid masay breishes. Every single day we're new people. Every single day everything is new, all right. And uh, breishes. So we're learning now uh, in the morning with the guys in Lakute Alochis. We're learning this beautiful concept that the word breishes. Okay, there's many many. It comes out with many acronyms you can make from the word, but we learned the new one. And this one's called Rosh Bayes. You see that? The Rosh Aleph Shin. And take the base, Yud Tzav, Rosh Bayes. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the Rosh Bayes. Right? It's HaKadosh Baruch Hu's world. He is the Rosh. He is the head. HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs everything. And when we can reveal that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is running everything in the world, then how do we do that? By giving credence to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Unbelievable. Any time that we realize what's going on in the world, anything that's going on in the world is not going on because of this group, that group, this government, that government. It's really going on because it's the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And it's hard to say that and it's hard to understand that because there are certain things that happen in the world uh, are very, very difficult to swallow. They're very difficult pills to swallow. But we're maminim, and we understand that really HaKadosh Baruch Hu understands, understands the situation very, very deeply. There's a, there's a beautiful understanding, there's a, there's a, a maisa with the Ramban. I would like to start with this, okay? Uh, the Ramban, uh, uh, for who, for those of you who are not familiar, the Ramban was a Rishon, right? The Ramban was in the same level as Rashi and the Rambam, right? Right? And the Ramban, right? Now the Ramban, uh, the time when when he was uh, he, there was a there was a young man there was a young man that took ill and this young man and this young man they didn't have a good prognosis and uh, they uh, they realized that he wasn't going to make it and uh, and uh, they called the Ramban so the Ramban went over to this young man he went over to the house where this young man was. And he told him, he said to him like this, he said, I don't want you to worry. He says, everything's going to be okay. He said, you're not going to make it, but you're going to be okay. Wow. So the young man asked him, what do you mean? He says, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a note. I'm going to give you a note, and I want you to keep this note in your hand. And when they, when they, when they, when they, when the Hebra Kedisha buries you, when they bury you, they're going to bury you with this note in your hand. Wow. Okay. And what's this note going to do for you? This note going to do for you is when you get to Shemayim and you get to the first Hegel, you get to the first antechamber, the chamber, you'll, they'll see that and they'll let you in. 
and you go to the next one, the next one, the next one, this will be a passage to get to the inner, 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 inner of the Heicholes. Okay. And he said, on the note, I have questions. I have some questions. And I want you, I want you to come back. I want you to come back. I want you to come back uh, and tell me the answers. Right? So what happened was, uh, he came, he, he, a little time passed. A little time passed and he, 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 had, and he, had, he had passed away. And, and they, 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 they sat shiva for him, of course, and everything. And a little while later, he came to the Ramban, and he said like this, he said, Rabbi, it's exactly like you said. It's exactly like you said. He said, I, I had this, this paper, and, and I was able to go through all the Heicholos, all of them. They let me in everywhere I wanted to go. There was no problem at all. And he said, I came to the inner, inner, inner Heichel, and I took a look at what was going on there. And I saw... I saw how everything was so magnificent. I saw everything was perfect. I saw your questions. And your questions were no questions in this Hegel. In this antechamber we found, I saw, that, I saw that everything was clear. Everything was clear. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Down in this world, we see all kinds of things that are, that are literally upside down. Right? We, see, we see things that mamish make no sense. Make no sense whatsoever. But we have to understand and we need to believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the Rosh bias. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is running everything. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is guiding the world to a perfect harmony. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is guiding the world right, to that place where Mashiach is going to come and is going to be the most spectacular things we're going to see. Now, sometimes HaKadosh Baruch Hu tries, he tries to, to do it in a very easy way, but sometimes we're, we're the Am Kishay Arif, like Maish Rebbeinu called us, right? We're the, we're the brave, stiff-necked people, right? We don't want to learn. We don't want to learn. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu sometimes has to do something to wake us up, something to wake us up in such a way that no matter who you are, It'll be such a it'll be such a devastating thing that no matter who that person is, they'll have to wake up. And you see it. Hakadosh Baruch Hu did something in the world that everybody everybody has woken up. <laughs> everybody. Ad kach ad kach that you see the the achdus that we have here right now, and. Uh, so much so, where you even, where even you could take, you could take Biden, right? Take this guy Biden. He never once, he never once was able to make a speech that he was coherent on, right? He never once. He always stumbled, fumbled, everything, right? <laughs> but yesterday he made a speech. Did you, did you get to hear it, you? Did you hear it? Yeah, uh, most of it. No, but but he was still he was speaking. He was speaking with a, with with a, with a statue. He understood what he was saying. <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. You see how Hakadosh Baruch Hu shows us that. Listen to me. When you guys are going to get along and it's going to have shalom, you're going to have achdus. I'll even make this b- buffoon. I'll make him speak right. <laughs> He'll speak correctly. Unbelievable. It's a All right. So the Rebbe says here. Let's look inside. Okay, that was enough outside. Let's look inside. Bereshis bar lekim, right? Veruach elekim rachefes, right? That's the words we're going to focus on here. That the Hakadosh Baruch Hu made the world. Bereshis bar lekim. So lekim, we know, is the is the is the is the is is the shame of of din, right? Veruach elekim mirachefes, and Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the ruach of Hashem was hovering. Hovering. Interesting. They use the same type of word for a, for a drone today. Right? What is our job in this world? What did HaKadosh Baruch Hu want from us to do in this world? To be Megala HaKadosh Baruch Hu's covet. To reveal Hashem's covet. Hashem's honor, Hashem's glory. From where? 
מכל המקוימה שהיה כבד ניסטה ונעלם בהם. In all of those places where HaKadosh Baruch Hu's covered was hidden and concealed. למען דס כל עמי הארץ, האמס, כי מלוי כל הארץ כבידי. So that way everybody will know clearly, everybody will know clearly that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is מלוי כל הארץ כבידי. HaKadosh Baruch Hu fills the world with His glory. Now look what he says now. Val came. Bemis Iker Avoida, Aidea Bakosha Vahipos, Acha Kivoidi is Bar. The main thing is to search, to request, to look, to search where is that Kodesh Baruch who's covered. Kamasha Kosov, Bakshu Fanov Tamid. Right? We say that we say that every day in our davening, right? Bakshu Fanov Tamid. What does Bakshu mean? Bikesh, right? From the word Bikesh. The search. Search out, search out, find Hashem always. V'ksiv, u'bikashtem mishom es Hashem alekecha u'matzasa. If you're going to find, you're going to look for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, u'bikashtem, right? If you're going to search for Hashem, u'matzasa. You'll be able to find Him. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made that beautiful game that the kids love to play, hide, go, seek. Right? They love that game, right? The kids love that game, right? One guy goes and hides. And the other one's got to go find them, right? And when they find them, they're all happy, right? You ever see that? When the kids are playing, right? They find the guy, they finally find them. They're all laughing and they're chuckling and they're so happy. That's HaKadosh Baruch Hu with us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to find him. And when he find, we find HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world and we find him, that's the greatest, that's the greatest treasure. That's the greatest thing that we can do. And find Hashem in those dismal situations. Find HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this problem that we're dealing with right now. Find Hashem in that thing. And Megala Hashem's covered. That the, it's not because of this, it's not because of that. It's because Hashem wants it. It's because Hashem wants it. That's the glory of Hashem. That's what we have to do all the days of our life. We have to search and try to find the Kodesh Baruch Hu. Ki ikar. This is the main thing. This is the main point. We're supposed to find the Rabbeinu Shalom, see the Hashkocha Pratis in everything in our lives. Find the Kodesh Baruch Hu in every act in our life. Anything that goes on in our life, find Hashem. Now, sometimes it's hard. So you can scream out, Hashem, where are you? Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me, Hashem. Search out, you're looking for Hashem. Ask Hashem to reveal himself in that situation. Because we know this concept, whenever, let's say, we'll use an orange, right? Whenever you have an orange, so an orange is, is starting to, 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 to uh, it, it flowers, right? And then the, the, hot, the peel, the peel develops, and then in the peel fills the fruit, right? It's not the fruit and then the peel develops, but first the peel develops, and then the fruit fills in with inside. So what does that mean? You have the klipa, you have the husk, the peel that came before the fruit. You understand that concept? Right? The, the husk, the peel, the, came before the fruit. You can't, it's impossible to find Hashem. You're not going to be able to find Hashem unless you can break through all of those husks all of those, all of the impurity to reveal Hashem. The same way, you can have a very, very juicy, delicious orange, right? But so long as the orange is in the peel, you won't be able to, you won't be able to have to enjoy the fruit, correct? You have to peel the orange if you want to enjoy the fruit. You're going to have to cut open the orange, peel it, do something to reveal there's a fruit in there. If you didn't know that there's a fruit in there, you would see the peel, you would have no idea that there's anything in there. That's the same way with HaKadosh Baruch. 
unless you go through the peel, unless you go through the husks, you go through them, you break them, then you can find the pre. What's the pre? Is HaKadosh Baruch Find Hashem. It's so beautiful, the analogy that, that Rav Nassim is giving us over here, and the way he explains it is so remarkable, as he always does. Is that Bechinas Kol HaTaivas V'Anisyoinais V'Amenios V'Abibulim V'Aikuvim Shesoivim Es Adam Kaidim Shesoichel L'Hakye Kivoydi Yisbar and this is the aspect of all the different desires, tests, obstacles, confusions, blockages that surround the person before he can come to reveal and recognize HaKadosh Baruch Hu's covenant. And where are all of these coming from? The places, external places. External, external places. Shehein bechinas mekayim esam etunafim. These can be even places. These can be even places that are not that are not pleasing places. Metunafim, tinuf, disgusting places. She writes in lahalim or kivayi is brought. They want to hide Hashem's light. They want to hide a kodesh baruch who's covered. And when you can pass through these mekaymais, when you can get through them and find and reveal Hashem, as I ikar takanosay sheyidrois viyavakish viyachapes gam gam. Here we go. Uh, right. Gam sham acha kivaydi isbar from those places. Wherever you find yourself, you can always call out to Hashem. No Hashem is there. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Mekai Mai Shel Oilam Va'ena Oilam Mekai Mai. Right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the world. Everything in the world is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You find Hashem in everything. Just search out, look and find Hashem. Bebechinas Aye Mekai Mkivayda. Right? We say that in the Kedush, right? On Shabbos, Musaf. Aye. Where are you? I am Mikhaim Kivaydi. Where is your place of glory, Hashem? I know you're here. I don't find you, Hashem. Reveal yourself. I am Mikhaim Kivaydi. Shayadezehu oila betachlis aliyah. Vichola klipas nisbatlin. You can then raise yourself up to the highest place by searching for Hashem. We said again. We have to bakshu as Hashem. We have to find Hashem, request Hashem. That's our main thing. When we actually do that and we scream at Aye Mikayim Kivaydai, so then we can we can then we can then nullify all of those husks of impurity. All of the impurity falls aside, and they become nullified. Buz niskala Kivaydai is Baruch, and then Hashem, His glory will be revealed. Vezebechinas. Briyas ha'olam. That's the idea of Briyas ha'olam, creation of the world. Bechinas b'reish is bar lekim va'aretz ha'isa tayu v'vayu v'chayshech. The world started out for at the in the first pasuk of the Chumash. What was the earth? Ha'isa tayu v'vayu. It was empty. It was empty. It was void of everything. V'chayshech and it was dark. What is dark synonymous with? Dark is synonymous with, with Lila, Lila, night. What's night considered? What is that? That's not seeing Hashem. The day, the day is compared with HaKadosh Baruch Hu because Hashem is bright. You see in the day, you see Hashem's son. You see Hashem, you see the Rabbeinu Shalem. But at night, the Chayshech, you don't find Hashem. Al Penei Sohaim, on the face of the abyss. The whole world was filled with the klipas, husks of impurity. That's how it started. That's how it started, and it's our job to constantly reveal those the purity that's hidden underneath those husks of impurity. That's our job in the world. Now look what he says here. Now you know, whenever we have in the Torah, right? We have in the Torah words, right? Beratius, space, bara, 
space, Elohim, right? The spaces. The spaces are known as what? The Maimer Sosim. The concealed, the sealed, the sealed speech. You don't know what it is, right? There's what, where there are letters, where there are words. I know what the word is. I can read the word. But the blank spaces, the white parts on the parchment, the white parts on the paper, right? The white, that's called the Maimer Sosim. That's, Hashem is there, but I don't know what it is. I don't know where, I don't know. I don't see the words. I don't know words. I don't see the word. That's, but that's trying to find Hashem. Where you see the words, you know that's Hashem. Okay, great. That's the day. The darkness, the darkness is where there's no, where you don't see Hashem. That's how HaKadosh Baruch who created the world. He created the world. Chayshech al penei tzahay. HaKadosh Baruch who created the world that there was darkness. That there was darkness, and then he revealed, he revealed himself. Bishfil Zeh, Haisekola Bria. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted, he wanted, She writes him, Lahalim Arkevoide, Bishfil Zeh Kola Bria. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted us to find him in the world. This is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu's will is. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world with Bechira. He made the world with free choice. Man has free choice. Man has free choice to say, I don't, I don't want to find Hashem, chas v'shalom. Or we can search out Hashem. That's our free choice. <laughs> but remember one thing. HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Ruach, the, the spirit of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, was hovering over everything. Da Ruach Yishel Mashiach. Chazal tell us that that is the Ruach of Mashiach. That is the Ruach of Mashiach. HaKadosh Baruch Hu put it, he made it in such a way that in all of these places, in all of these places you can reveal Hashem. In these dark, dismal places you can find Hashem by saying, Where are you? Reveal yourself to me. When you do that, you're revealing Mashiach in the world. You're starting to reveal the Mashiach in the world because that's for Ruach Elikim Mirach Efes. Shehu Oisik Bazet Tamid Mitchilas Habria Ad Saif Legalis Kivodis Baruch Mehelim El Hagiloi. To find, to take Hakodesh Baruch Hu from the, from the, from the, from the hiding and make Hakodesh Baruch Hu revealed. This is the whole process. This is what we have to do. We have to reveal the Rabbeinu Shleilim in the world more today than ever. More today than ever. And right now what's going on in Kalal Yisrael, how we have that unity, and you have all of these, these non-Jewish, non-religious Jews that are wearing tzitzis today. It's amazing. Revealing HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Revealing Hashem in the world. This is what's going on. It's mamish going on now. And that's how we know that this is mamish. the times we could smell Mashiach in the air. He's in the air. Mashiach, this, this mamish, we hope, we hope, we hope, we hope that this is mamish the end. We hope that this is mamish the end. And with Davin, we're all davening, that we should see the final Geula. But this is how we do it. We have to reveal the covenant of Hashem in the world. Again, when people that didn't subscribe to Hashem, that think that they thought that they didn't need Hashem, and now they're asking to wear tzitzis. They're asking to wear a pair of tzitzis. What is tzitzis? Where the tzitzis? See them. Find all the mitzvahs of Hashem. They're all in there. They're all in there. We learned it. Don't you remember, Chev? We learned this beautiful concept. Tzitzis. What's tzitzis? How many strings do you have on your tzitzis? You have 32 strings, right? Eight on each corner. Right? It's simple math, right? 8 times 4 is 32. Right? 32. 32 in the number, if you do it with the letters, if you do it with the letters, the numbers, right? Each, each letter, Hebrew letter, has a numerical value. So 30, 30 is Lamed, 2 is Beis. Right? Lamed, Beis, Lev. Right? Lamed, Beis. What is the significance of Lamed, Beis? The last word in the Torah, we just read it this past Shabbos. 
Oh, no, you read it on Sunday. Okay. We read it on Shabbos. Okay. Uh, either way. Okay. We just said, the last word of Torah is, La'ene kol Yisro. Chazak, chazak, finis chazay. Right? La'ene kol Yisro. What is the last letter in the Torah? Lamed. Lamed. And then what did we do? We put that, we picked, we wrapped up that Torah and we took out the next Torah. And what did they do? They called up Chassam Bereshis, right? <coughs> and they read Bereshis. What's the first letter in the Torah? Beis. Tzitzis is 32 because the last letter in the Torah is Lamed. The first letter in the Torah is Beis. And there you have the whole Torah. Ureisem oisa yuschartem is kol mitzvahs. I'll understand that the same way that there's 32 here, that means all of these, all this tzitzis is connected all of the mitzvahs, all of the mitzvahs in the Torah. It's amazing. Mamish amazing. But look what he says. The avaydeze in the garden is garshin unispatlan aklipos. And then all of the klipos will just and not be nullified, they'll go away. All the things that were there to try to hide HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they'll just cease to exist. They'll fall aside. Right? Like they say the mountains will crumble and the hilltops will fade away, right? But my love for you, Hashem, will always be there, right? Right? It's a famous song like that, right? You heard that before, Rabbi Yehuda? You heard it, guys? Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? That's what it means. They'll just fade away. It's all going to fade away. But the lo- we're going to see HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I did in this Gosh, in this Pat, in this in this Gala, Kivoy, in this Baruch. I did call our Sora Mamore Shel Abriya. HaKadosh Baruch Hu had Esa Mamore. Right? There were ten utterances. There were ten utterances that HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world. Kineged the, 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 ten, the ten commandments. Kineged the ten spheros. Right? The ten spheros. Ten. Shazeb, the ten people we need in a minion, right? And then you can bring the Shechina, right? Tens. Shazeb, Bechinas, Vayoyim, Relikim, Yehi, Ar. Hashem said, let there be light. Let there be light. That's the Mo'ire, Ar. That's HaKadosh Baruch Hu's light, revealing HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world. Vayehi, Ar. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the light of the world. You see, when you go outside and you see the sun shining, so we think it's the sun that's shining. Yes, and the sun is shining. But where is the sun getting its ability? Where is it getting its kayach that it can shine from HaKadosh Baruch Hu? HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives it its ability to shine, and that's how the, moon, the sun can shine. Vayehi R. That's the R. Now in the world we also have, we also have Aish. We also have Aish in the world. What is Aish? Aish is fire. What is fire? Fire is destructive, but R is light. Fire is destructive, right? A fire not contained destroys, correct? Right? Ma'ayre Aish, right? But there's Ma'ayre R. And that's how we could reveal the Ma'ayre R. When every time we search out and find HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world, see the Hashkacha Pratis in our lives. See Ashkoch uh, Pratis in every aspect of the world. See Hashem's direct involvement in each, every nuance of your life. See how HaKadosh Baruch Hu's involvement is in each and every aspect of the entire world. That's revealing the Rabbeinu Shalom. That's why he are. V'chein kulam v'zeh ikar avaydes ha'odam kol yimei chayev. This is our work. This is what we have to work on. This is, this is the message that we could take from this parsha. That we have to reveal the covenant of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We have to have the guts to say, that what's the first Rashi in, the, in Chumash? Did you see the first Rashi? Um, Rabbi Yitzhak, what does he say? HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world. And why does HaKadosh Baruch Hu start off telling us the story of Masi Bereshis? Right? Is this the Torah a story book? No, the Torah is a law book. Right? It gives us our laws. Right? It gives us our guidance. So if the Torah is giving us laws and our Torah is giving us guidance, if, 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 if the Torah is giving us guidance, so if, the, if that's the case, so then why, so then why, so then why, why is it start off with the story? You know what he says? You know why it starts off with the story? It's very simple. He says why? To show HaKadosh Baruch Hu revealed the world. He made the world. He gave Eretz Yisrael to the Kenanim. Right? He gave it to the Kenanim. 
they didn't do the right thing with it. He took it away from them and he gave it to us. And it's that simple. It's that simple. He took it away from them and he gave it to us. The Shon, he is the Baal boss in the world. The Rabbeinu Shalom is the Roish Bayes. Roish Bayes. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the head of the world because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the head of the world. Therefore HaKadosh Baruch Hu, therefore HaKadosh Baruch Hu uh, 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 is the one, is the one that gave, made the world and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one that take, took the, gave Eretz Yisrael to the, to the, to the, to the Goyim and HaKadosh Baruch Hu took it away from them and he gave it to us. Unbelievable. Any comments and questions on this lesson or do we, we, should we learn something else? Or do we have any comments or questions? Any comments? I just want to mention also, my brother had a, a great grandson today, Bris. Oh, Mazel Tov. Also, Maruma's in the word Bracious. Ah. Take the base Rash as a bar for a boy. Aleph is Achar. Shin is Shmoine. Yud Yomim. Tov is Timol. So Timo, how the bris mila? Timo, ah, wow, kola kavod, that was beautiful. Did you come up with that, Rabbi Yehuda? Is that your shot? I heard, I heard it before. You also can use it on Pidyon Aben. Yeah, it'll work the same way. Yeah, it'll work the same way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Timo. Unbelievable! Wow, beautiful, beautiful. You what? That's from the Vilna Gaon. Ah, the Heilig of Vilna Goyen, Zechus Yoga in Aleinu. Zechus Yoga in Aleinu. Mamish, mamish. Okay, let's learn something. Let's take out another piece here. We have another, we have a little more time. So let's learn another, let's learn another piece. Uh, da, 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 this is another piece right here. Very good. Okay, let's talk about the waters. Okay. All right, so, so, we, so in the parasha, there's so many things to discuss, of course. Uh, we only have an hour, so we do the best that we can, okay? Uh, we also, HaKadosh Baruch Hu divided the upper waters and the lower waters, right? What is that? What is the difference between the upper waters and the lowers? Let's take a look. HaKadosh Baruch Hu took the waters from under the heavens. He separated the upper waters and the lower waters. Shekol meimei hadas yimshuchu el mokay mechad. That all the meimei hadas. What's the meimei hadas? We know that the Torah is compared to water, right? The Torah is compared to water. I'll tell you a cute story that happened to me years ago. I was working at the, in 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 some camps upstate New York, and uh, and uh, they called me and they said to me, you know, uh, we don't have water in the camp. There's no water. So I, I called I called the learning rabbi, right? The, the head of the learning department. And I said to him, "Hey, Rabbi, uh, it's your fault we don't have water." So he said to me, "What do you mean?" I said, "The Torah said the Chazal tell us that the Torah is nimshalut gemayim." Now that means if you guys if you're not learning Torah with the boys, so that means we don't have mayim. He told me that he never got such musa like that in his life yet. <laughs> He never got such musa. He loved it. He mamish loved it. Anyway, so shekol meime adas yimchuchu amokay mechad. All the meime adas comes to one place. It's all Torah. Amokay mechad. What does that mean? Daikem bechinas shema Yisrael Hashem elakenu Hashem echad. The famous pasuk that when we when we when we kabel all malchus shemayim shetzrichin lahamshech kol meime adas. You have to draw all the meimei adas shenim sabayilam el mokayim echad lahamshir kol adas letoichem munas achdusa yizbarach shezek klal kol kavanosa yikriya shema. How do you like that? The whole kavan of the kriya shema is to be miyached everything in the world together and to give it over to Hashem to recognize everything is coming from Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Unbelievable. That's Kavanah's Kriyashma. She'ika Kavanah hu kipshutai. Lahamin b'yichudai v'achdusai sh'hu yizborach adoin yochid manik u'mayshel u'mashkiach. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the singular, single one. That's the manik. He controls. He conducts. Mayshel, he rules. 
Umashkiach, and he's watching over carefully. He's higher than everything. There's nothing higher than Hashem. That's all the kavanas that you need. To know it's all HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's all Hashem. Everything. Those people, they turn, they, they, they move their head in six directions. They try to do that. They t- t- turn their head to recognize Hashem is in all directions of the world. It's all you, Hashem. Right? We be Kabbal all Malchus Shemaim. What's the greatest be Kabbalas all Malchus Shemaim that you have? To recognize that everything in the world, wherever you look, Shavisi Hashem Lenegdi Summit. You're with me, Hashem. That's the greatest, being Mechabal, the greatest, all Malchus Shemayim. Recognizing that Hashem is with you, no matter where you are. You can't hide. Shem laham shekol ha-moichin ha-yedei kriya shmaliyachin kutshebrichu u-shchinte. To unify, to make a unification between kutshebrichu Hashem and the Shechina. What is the Shechina? The Shechina is the embodiment of all nefesh klolis Yisrael together. Nefesh Kloli is Yisrael together makes up the Shechina. We want to we want to unify Hashem with the Shechina. We want to unify, make a unification between Hakadosh Baruch Hu to be unified together with the with the Shechina Kedusha with His Klal Yisrael. Hayne Shetzrich Laham Shekol Mine Das. All aspects of Das and Meichel Etoich Emunas Achdusa Yis Baruch. By days there is a Roa Yabosha. And then you'll be able to see the dry land. Hayabosha. What is that? Shayadez en is gala hamuna. That's how you're going to have a, his gala. You're going to have a revelation of hamuna. Recognizing it's all Hashem will give a person hamuna. He'll believe in Hashem. Shu bechinas eretz. Ki metchila. Hayo ha'ayla mayim bemayim. The whole world was just water. It was all water. It was water and water. Then the world was nothing. The world was just a, an abyss. Like we learned a moment ago. What is that? He calls man. Be so long as you don't take all of the knowledge, all of your knowledge, all of the understanding that you have, and attribute it to Hashem. That's the multi the water flood waters. Because the Ikka Kfira comes when a person thinks he has his own das. Right? The people that think, the people that think, and they don't recognize it's Hashem in the world. And they think, oh, if it was Hashem in the world, how could this happen? If there was Hashem in the world, how could that happen? They try to think with their own das, but they don't realize. There's such a, there's, it's, it's such a nebuch on these people. They don't realize that we are finite beings. And our minds are only finite beings. Our Kodesh Baruch Hu is infinite. How could we ever understand anything of Hashem? It's impossible. We're finite. We're, 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 we're mortal. We're humans. We can only understand so much. But the Rabbi Nishlam is infinite. Oh, Gevald, Gevald. Right? Yenikas Kefiris, Rebai Das. Veloi Haya Ika Kiyam Ha'ayla. But the world couldn't exist like that. Kiyam Ha'yadei Ruach Elekim Do Ruach Eishah Mashiach. Like we learned a moment ago. Ruach Elekim, that's the Ruach of Mashiach. Shoisim Rachefes Al Penei Amayim. That's hovering it over. So yes, there's a lot of things in the world. But no... Then Hakadosh Baruch Hu is Merachef es Al Penei Amai, which means Mashiach is hovering. That's Mashiach. He's hovering over everything in the world. Kemoi Shekasa V'Yamati V'Chazdi Imai, right? V'Emunasi V'Emunasi V'Chazdi My Emuna, right? And My Emuna V'Chazdi and My Chasadim Imai together. Ki Hu Yigale V'Yachnis V'Yachnis Emuna B'Shleimis B'Chol Boi Oila. He's able to bring into everyone in the world this idea. It's going to happen. The Navi Tzifanya says, is going to make a hepoch. He's going to change over. 
all of the nations suffer Berurah. They'll have a very clear speech. Likrei b'shem Hashem, and they'll all call out to Hashem. They'll all call out to Hashem. Not like it was when we remember we had in the tower, the tower, the tower of Babylon, right? We had that tower, right? They were trying to build that tower, right? Because they wanted to wage war with Hashem. So what did Hashem do? He made all different languages, right? Everyone had different languages. So they couldn't understand each other. So they couldn't do that, right? But really, what does it mean they made different languages? That means they didn't understand the, the, the Achdos of Hashem. And that's what they were trying to go against it. But it's going to be the Navi says, Ki el kola amim Hashem. Ki rabim. So many psukim like that. The whole thing is to be mechazik in emuna. You need to have emuna to realize everything, the craziness going on in the world. You need to be mam and to understand it's hashkoches Hashem. You need to have the emuna to believe it's all hashkoches Hashem. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is keeping the world in existence. He's always being mechadish the world. Hashem is making it new. We never have to be stuck in what we were stuck in the yes, yesterday. What we were stuck in five minutes ago. I can change my perspective now. Because now I'm new. Vafilu Be'esha writes in Lishlai Dvibay Amayim. Because even if the great flood waters want to attack you, the flood waters of sin, the flood waters of sin, you see there's so much apicursus in the world today, right? They say, where's God? They don't want to, they want to try to blot out God from anything in the world. That's what they try to do. Hashol, they're, they're running the world. They're trying their best for this. They want to destroy the world. Because if again, if HaKadosh Baruch is not in the world, the world will cease to exist. When they try it, they don't understand. They're trying to remove Hashem from the world. But they don't understand that the world is only in existence because Hashem is there. If they try to remove the Rebbe Hashem, they'll be master of the world. They'll destroy it. It will go back to nothing. That it should ever happen like that. If their das, if these people's das would have a kiyam, that they, they would be able to remove the Rabbi Islam from the world, the world would have been destroyed a long time ago. The world is only in existence if we have if we have emuna. If we don't have emuna, the world can't exist, right? The world can't exist without emuna. It's all about it's all about believing in the in our Baruch. That's what it's all. That's mamish. What it's all about. Okay, let's turn the page over here. Uh, okay, where did it go? Oh well, I think I think that's the last page I have on this lesson. Okay, so we'll just we'll just talk. Uh, yeah, so we'll just, again, basically like this. So let's just finish this lesson off over here. We'll finish this idea off. They really are Kaddish Baruch Hu made the world in a way that is hidden. Like we learned in the first part of the lesson, right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world that he's, that he's hidden. He wants us to, he wants to be hidden. Why? Because he wants to have Bechira in the world. If we would see Hashem blatantly, right? If you would look and see Hashem, would anyone have to be able to be questioned if there's Hashem? If you would see Hashem blatantly, you would see Hashem vividly. Would anyone ever be able to, 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 to say, hey, I, 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 can anyone say that there's no Rabbi Shalom in the world? Then impossible. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made that whole creation in that way, in that way that we can find Him. He wants us to find Him. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu made it in the way that the person can say there's no God in the world. He can say there's no, he can try to remove God from the world. But that's not, that's never going to be, that's never going to work because when the person thinks about it, how can it be possible that everything works in the world so meticulously? How every morning the sun rises, the sun sets. Everything is so perfectly calculated. Mom is perfect. How can it be it's doing it on its own? How can anyone think in their right mind think that everything is all happening by itself? 
How can anyone in their right mind think anything so foolish? So foolish. Elamai. Hashem made it that way so that way we can hear them, what they're saying, and we could say, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elekeinu Hashem Echod. I believe in you, Hashem. I'm a Yachid HaKadosh Baruch Hu with Knesset Yisrael. I'm a Yachid HaKadosh Baruch Hu with the Torah, because we know, Kutzebrich Loi Reis of Yisrael Kul Echod, right? The Rabbi Yisraelim, the Torah, and and, and and Klal Yisrael is all one. Hashem, the Torah, and, and Klal Yisrael is one unit, inseparable. It's inseparable. We're one unit. Why? Every person, every Jew has a chilek elikami mal in him. He has his neshama. And that's what keeps us alive. And that neshama is a part of the Rabbi Nishlev. And the Kaddish Baruch was mistakel by rice, the Zoya says. He looked in the Torah. The Torah was the tachnit. It was the, the blueprint. It was the blueprint of the world. Right? It was the blueprint of the world, the Torah. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the Torah in that way that we can understand, find Him. He wants us to find Him, to make that unification. Listen, uh, we'll do, just say one more thing on the out, on, on outside now. That, uh, that I hope there's any questions on this concept, or this concept is clear, Hever. What do you, uh, anyone want to say anything? Does anyone want to add anything? Anyone want to disagree with something? Uh, please, you know, we have a, it's an open forum. Quiet? Nobody? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Let's discuss, let's discuss for a moment the Eitz Adas Tevera. Right? It was the Eitz Adas Tevera. So let's think about this now. It was the sixth day, right? It was the sixth day. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu created, uh, he created uh, Adam, Adam in the morning, right? It was in the morning. And, and then HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave Adam and Chava, he gave them the command, one commandment. What was that? Don't eat from what? The Eitz Adas Toivara. Don't eat from the tree of knowledge, good and bad. Eitz Adas Toivara. In other words, what's the das that we have to reveal? HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world, right? We keep learning that, right? Finding Hashem, Nashkoch Pratis. This was the Eitzah Das Tevera. What does that mean? That this was the tree that showed whatever was good in the world is good. Whatever is bad is bad. It was impossible to misconstrue, to say what's good is bad and what's bad is good. Like they do today, right? Right? Anything the anything the world, anything that's 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 that goes against the Torah, and the Torah says no, they say yes. Anything the Torah says yes, do this, they say no. Right? They can misconstrue the good with the bad. Okay. Hashem says to Adam and Chava, don't eat from this tree. So what happened? The Nachash was there, right? The Nachash had Kadmaini, that snake, was in was in was in was in was in heaven. Was in the Gan Eden. And the snake said to Chava, Chava, Hashem told you, Hashem told you that we can't touch the tree. And Chava said, Really? And what did the snake do? The snake pushed Chava. He pushed Chava. So Chava should, punch, should fall and touch the tree. Chava falls and touches the tree. Why does the snake say there? Hey, you see this? Hashem said, Don't touch the tree. And you didn't, you touched the tree and nothing happened to you. Ah, that means the same way you, you weren't supposed to touch it and nothing happened to you, you can eat from it also. And he goes even further to say, why doesn't Hashem want you to eat from the tree? Because Hashem ate from that tree. And Hashem became God through eating the, from that tree. So God doesn't want you to eat from the tree, so you shouldn't have any competition. You hear such a story? This is what happened, Chavra. This is what happened. All right. So Chava eats from the tree, right? Now, you know, misery likes company, right? So Chava realizes, uh-oh, she made a mistake, right? She realizes that this that didn't go the way, that it didn't happen the way it was supposed to happen, Right? She, she, she did something she wasn't supposed to do. Ah, because she did something that she wasn't supposed to do. So then what happened? HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, 
she says to, she says to, excuse me, she says to Adam, Adam, hey, you eat from the tree also. See, I eat from the tree, nothing happened. You eat from the tree too. So what does Adam do? Adam eats from the tree. And what happens the next thing? HaKadosh Baruch Hu asks Adam, why do you eat from the tree? So what did Adam Arishan say? You gave me this lady, right? You gave me this lady. It's her fault. What should Adam have said? Hashem, I violated what you asked me to do, and I'm sorry, right? He could have just said, I'm sorry. Tshuva was created, Kaidim La'ilam. Tshuva was created before the creation of the world. Before Hashem created the world, he had Tshuva in place. So Adam made the mistake. He could have said, I'm sorry. Instead of being ungrateful that Hashem made him a wife, that he shouldn't be alone, he blamed his wife for it. What did Chava do? Hashem asked Chava, Chava, why did you eat from the tree? Oh, well, the Nachash. It was his fault. Again, what could have Chava said? I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Had they have said, I'm sorry, and I made a mistake, everything would have been okay. It would have gone away. The whole problem would have gone away. Why would it have gone? How could it have gone away? How could it have gone away? Because Hashem made tshuva. Tshuva works. But what happened was, what happened was they didn't know that. They didn't understand that they could say they're sorry. They didn't know that. But we know that now. But we know that now. And any time... And we realize we did made a mistake. All we need to tell Hashem is, I'm sorry. We do tshuva. Say, I'm sorry. It takes a big person to say they're sorry, right? It takes a big person to say they're sorry. But if I say, I'm sorry, if I can say, I'm sorry to the Rabbi Nishalayim, via saying, I'm sorry, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will forgive us. We want, it's our, it's our, it's our prayer right now for Klal Yisrael. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us forgiveness. We're all saying to Hillel, we're all doing what we can for this matzah. Right? Jews in the, all around the world, in every country, wherever they are, they're doing and sending anything they can do. It's so beautiful. You see how everyone stands together. We stand all together. We stand as one. We stand with Achdos. We stand with Achdos. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu Metz Hashem will accept our Achdos. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will accept our Tshuva. Because we came back and we're all coming to unify. We're coming together. We're being miyachet kuchabrichu shchinte. That's what we're doing now. We're unifying Hashem with the Shechina. Because the Shechina is the embodiment of all Nefesh Kalal Yisrael. So we can all get together. And we make that yichud. We make that, we make that unification. HaKadosh Baruch will bring us the biggest Yeshuas. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. And... Uh, uh, and Emet and, Hashem and, uh, will meet the same time next week. Okay, the same time next week we'll meet and we'll, just, we'll, 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 we'll always have our Parsha class on this time. Um, does anyone have any comments or questions before we close the class? No. You can unmute yourselves if you want to say something. Okay. So I wish everyone a wonderful Shabbos. Cold tooth.